this is the face that most of you have when you reach out to me asking, Rachel, I need help potty training my new puppy. Nothing is working. Fear not, my friends, because I got you. In this video, I'm going to share my one-step potty training process that has already helped thousands of pet parents all around the world. So let's just jump into this video. Right, meow. I'm gonna take you to my office because this video is serious matters. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna go over five easy hacks on how to speed potty training up. So let's go ahead and jump into the one-step potty training process, which is what I refer to as proactive potty training. And what that looks like is very, very, very simple. All you have to do is one to three times an hour, depending on how small your puppy is, one to three times an hour, take your puppy outside or to whatever the designated potty area is and wait for them to go potty. And that's it. Like literally you could turn this video off right now, do that over and over again. And then the next one to two weeks, you're gonna have a potty trained puppy regardless of how old, how big or small they are. So let me go into more detail to what I mean. I call this a proactive potty training process because a lot of times pet parents wait for their puppy to show signs of needing to go potty. They'll wait for a mess to happen or they'll wait for their puppy to start crying crying in the crate and that's when they let them outside. What I have seen through the dozens and dozens and dozens of rescue dogs that I have fostered throughout the years, all the way from four weeks old, all the way up to 14 years old, is that if you can get ahead of their need to go potty and put them where they need to be, AKA being proactive, they are going to be so much more successful faster than if you wait for them to make a mistake. And here's why, because what you're gonna do is when you take your puppy outside one to three times an hour and you wait for them to go potty, and it may take five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, once they go potty, you are going to reward them. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a simple hack on how to reward them in the most efficient way. And this works because dogs learn by doing something and then getting a positive reinforcement for doing said thing. So if you think about it, in the first 48 seconds, 72 hours that you have your new puppy at home, you take them outside almost every single hour throughout the day and they go potty 80% of the time when you take them out, they're going to be so much more likely to go potty outside because you're gonna be rewarding them every time. And because you're being proactive about the potty training process and you're taking them out, even if they're not showing a sign of needing to go out, then you're gonna have less likelihood of that puppy having an accident inside. Because here's the hard truth, and don't take this personally because I've been here and I've made this mistake, but you need to realize that your puppy going potty inside is 100% your fault. And I say that with love because you need to hear it. You need to know that your puppy doesn't want to just go potty inside. They just need to go potty and they're not able to control it as well as an adult dog. So it is on you and your shoulders and your family's shoulders to take them outside consistently and regularly and give them the opportunity to potty in the right spot. And so the best way to do that is to follow my one-step potty training process of setting a reminder on your phone or a timer on your phone and taking them outside proactively or again, to wherever the potty area is designated one to three times every single hour. And then at nighttime, what you do is you set your alarm for every two to four hours. I know that sounds insane. You're like, well, what if my puppy is not crying? Do I still need to wake them up and take them out? The answer is yes. In my experience, I find that if you wait for the puppy to wake you up screaming in the middle of the night to go potty, you're either gonna wake up to a mess already that you're gonna have to clean up so the puppy didn't learn anything, or you're gonna wake up to a crying puppy, you're gonna be half asleep, you're gonna to try to pick them up, carry them outside, and an accident's gonna happen all over you. And again, the puppy doesn't learn anything. But if two to three hours after going to sleep, you wake up your little puppy, you take them outside, they go potty, you make no excitement, no fun, and you bring them back into their crate or their bed and put them to sleep, guess what? Your puppy learned like, oh, I had this urge to go, and they wanted me to go outside, hmm. That must be where they want me to go potty. And guys, I know this works because I have shared this one-step potty training process across my social media platforms. As you guys know, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, at Rachel Fasaro, and you guys are DMing me and replying to me, thanking me for helping you potty train your puppy so fast, and it has worked for thousands of you. All right, let's jump into these next five hacks for potty training that I rarely, if ever, hear anybody talk about. And then after that, I'm going to go over what I recommend as my favorite kind of treats to give dogs because I am very, very picky, especially for puppies. And the first hack is, at least in the beginning days and weeks of having your new puppy, I recommend to keep the feeding time, which I usually recommend about three to four times a day, to be at the same time every day. 
Can you guess why that would be helpful with potty training? Because after any time your puppy naps, plays, sleeps, or eats, or drinks water, you wanna take them outside within five to 10 minutes of that every single time, in addition to taking them out multiple times an hour. This is a lot, guys, I know, but this is how you get this done quickly. And so if you feed your puppy at the same times every day, you are going to be better able to predict when they're going to need to go potty. And then for the second hack, I've never heard anybody else on YouTube talk about this. Maybe they're out there. I don't know, but I have seen this work wonders. And it is the timing at which you reward your puppy when they go potty. So to make it cement in their head that what they're doing is what you want, aka going potty outside, it can work for you to go, good job, potty, potty, happy puppy, and throw a treat at them. That can help teach them to go potty outside. But the way to really communicate to them in the most effective way, in my experience, on what they're doing is what you want, is as they're going potty, like literally midstream, I know this sounds crazy, but just try it, you will see wonders. Midstream, like mid going potty, that is when you give them your marker verbal word, which for me is Y-E-S, I'll say yes, and then you'll say something like go potty, and then you reward them all at right as they're finishing up. The problem that I see in most pet parents is they'll wait until the puppy stops peeing, and as soon as the puppy's done peeing, or going number two, they, they, they then say, yes, good job, go potty, and here's a treat. The problem is the puppy then gets confused, like, okay, so I'm getting rewarded just for being outside, right? Because that's how quickly the puppy will forget what he or she was just doing. If you reward them as they're doing the act of going potty, they're going to learn so much faster. And guys, a pro tip on that is leave a jar of some treats. Again, I'll talk about treats I like at the end of the video, right by the back door. So in case you forget to have some in your pocket, you can grab some as you're running outside to let your puppy go potty. Now for this third hack, I've seen so many people do this and I see a lot of recommendations on here on YouTube to actually do this and I never recommend it. And that is to punish your puppy when they go potty indoors. And many of you ask me, okay, well, what do I do when my puppy does go potty inside? Don't I punish them or tell them no, naughty dog? Absolutely not. Because all you're gonna do is make your puppy afraid to go potty in front of you. So then they're less likely to go potty when you take them outside in front of you. And then they're more likely to hide in the house when they need to go potty instead of showing you the signals such as sniffing around or walking by the back door that they need to go out. So it does no good and teaches your puppy nothing to scold them and punish them. So all you do is simply pick them up and usher them outside to finish their business. And then once they go, once they go outside, you reward when, while they're going potty. And of course, make sure you clean up the mess thoroughly because you don't want to leave that there so then they smell it. And then you move on and you continue on the potty training process. For this fourth hack, guys, I made the same mistake with my Labrador Bentley when he was a puppy and it bit me in the rear end big time. And that was when he would wake me up in the middle of the night or when I woke him up to go potty in the middle of the night, I would take him outside to go potty and then I would cuddle him for a little bit because he was so snuggly and I'd play for him with a couple minutes because he did so good going potty outside. But what that taught him was, oh, when I get woken up in the middle of the night or if I cry in the middle of the night, then I get to get up and go play with mom or dad after I go potty. Potty. This is fun. I should wake them up more often. So what I recommend is when you take them out to go potty, as soon as they go, you still reward them. Then you put them right back into their bed or their crate or playpen. And you, during the entire process, are a statue. I want you to be as boring as possible other than when you reward them. Because if you show any excitement or if they get any joy out of being out and about it, two, three, four in the morning, they're gonna wanna do it more often. Because guys, how do puppies learn? They learn by doing something and then getting a positive association or reward for doing that. And to a dog, it's rewarding to play with you. So be boring, hashtag be boring. Now for this next hack, I know so many of you are gonna say, oh, well, my dog, I'm in a condo, I'm in an apartment, I can't go up and down 50 flights of stairs every hour. And I get that. In that situation, I would recommend, and many of you will not agree with me, and that is okay. But I recommend to use a potty pad. They either have ones that are made out of cotton or they have ones that are actually real, real grass, which I'll have that link down below. And I have a video linked right up here and down below on how to use a potty pad. And I want you guys to comment down below how old your puppy is right now or how old is your puppy gonna be that you're gonna be adopting here soon? Because many of you watching this, I know we're getting a dog very soon and you're being a good pet parent and you're trying to educate and learn 
ahead a ton. I love that about you. Bravo, bravo. But yeah, comment below. What is the age of your puppy? I'm really curious. And if you have any questions, I want you to comment that below as well because I have a very engaged community in the comment section and I comment and reply on pretty much every comment that I can. So I'll do my best to get to yours. And now let's talk about puppy treats. What are treats that I love? What are treats that I hate and would never feed? Go ahead and click the video linked right here and we'll jump over to that video and talk all about the treats that I recommend for your puppy. And thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.